Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing quite well. Been very busy today. Let me get comfortable in my chair. So we're doing a voiceover, but very little speed through. This is a 32 minute long tutorial. Hope you stick with me and this is what we'll be making. Uh, image transfers. Lemon paper and the kitty paper and some vintage beads, um, vintage pearls, sorry. Ooh. Right now I'll show you guys what you'll need if you would like to join me in making these here. So that's what they both look at, look like at the in the end. Okay, so I have Americana Decor Image Transfer Medium and then I have a uh, laser jet print that I printed off and a canvas and I pre gessoed it and here we go we got that open and then I just throw a big blob in the middle you guys can work with this stuff however you like you can use a brush you can use an old credit card you can even use your fingers in this video I end up using my hands on the second canvas and I'm using a an old medical card I think that's what that is I'm not even sure and I like to go in one direction and then in the next direction and I like to turn my canvas around just to make sure I get it all I'm not too concerned though with the corners because I'm using an 8 by 12 paper and it doesn't even reach the end of the canvas or the edges of the canvas so I'm good Ooh, what I do suggest you see the lemon paper there it's all white oh I end up putting it also on the actual laser jet print also just to make sure because it was a hot day and the stuff was drying on the canvas quite easily and quickly so I decided to put some on the paper you do have to work quite fast with this stuff it's not impossible not to work too fast. I mean, just a uh, just a, a good enough speed because it does dry quickly. Well, then again, it depends on the season the the season that we're in. <clears throat> I just flip it over. Try to get it correctly on the first try because it really does instantly transfer. Now I like to leave my transfer to sit and dry for 24 hours just to make sure make sure and I see that there's an edge lifted up there and I end up getting to that in a moment but I'm actually not using a credit card uh, to press down I'm using a um, see I end up getting that corner I'm using a piece of cardstock to push down the paper if you use a cardboard, go for it. Play however you like to play. I personally don't want to use a credit card at this on this step because I've ripped into the paper before, like I did in that little corner right there. But it's all fixable, guys. And see how I speed it up a little because this actually took me about an hour to record, an hour and a half. And I turn it sideways because I can see the bubbles. And so sideways for me is a way for me to visualize, not visualize, sorry, to, to see the bubbles and that's where I press them down. Also, some of the paper is coming off. I'm not purposely making the paper come off so I don't want you to think that that's what we're doing. We're not doing that. Or I'm not doing that. What I'm doing here is just pushing the air bubbles out and if some of that paper lifts, that's okay. I'm still going to let it sit for 24 hours and then we're good. Now I'm going to work on this one and on this one I do end up using my hands and spreading it because but Jesus it was hot and the stuff was drying so fast. So it, it was drying so fast that I said you know what screw it I'm going to use my hands and we're going to get this done even faster because with my hands I can actually feel where it was drying, where it needed more. Yes, yeah, so you guys will see right now. Okay, so see this image here where it's colored? I personally suggest that you guys 
trim away the white border so that you don't get that white border transfer onto your canvas. Close the door, babe. Please. Although I'm using a white canvas, you can see um, the transfer. It's just, it's just a nicer... Mm, see, there goes my fingers. We're just going to jump in. Um, just remove the white border. You'll see the difference. It'll be a smooth, more uh, blended surface. A blend, more blendable image transfer. Okay. Because I didn't remove the border, that's why I end up painting the edges. You'll see in a minute. You see how I'm using my hands? Actually, it's very fun to even peel that stuff off of your hands after. It's been a very, very, very busy day. Very busy day. So I'm taking advantage of doing a voiceover right now so that I can sit down and put something up for you guys to enjoy. Uh, actually, there's going to be two videos. This is the long one, and then there's going to be a short speed through. I like a four minute speed through. So what I end up doing is getting an hour and 30 minute video and shortening it to four minutes because there are some people out there that have been requesting. Actually, it's only been one person that requested for a speed through because she's got a quite busy schedule. And she enjoys my videos, but just doesn't have the time to sit through a long video. Although she says that she would love to, she can't. So I did the four minute video for her. Okay, same thing here. I lift it up sideways to see all the air bubbles. And pushing as many as possible out. And then leaving that there to dry for 24 hours. Oh. I thought I cut this part out. I end up transferring the that transfer onto this cardboard uh, that came out of I don't know something. You know those packages that cardboard right there. I just transfer it and put it aside because it's end it ended up being another video for something else. And then I just have water and a paintbrush. And I was thinking to myself, wow, I think those white spots that you guys see there and I see there, I was thinking, man, that didn't transfer. Some of the eye is going to be way peeled off. Well, that sucks, but we're going to work through it and figure it out. Maybe I'll just draw some eyes in. But lo and behold, that wasn't the case. It all transferred quite nice. What those white spots are, I don't know. And, but that's okay. They can be what they want to be. And we're just going to rub. And I think I do speed up the video a little bit more because we're just rubbing. Rub, 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 scrub, scrub, scrub. And then I find, um, I see all of that paper, right? The paper that's wet that ends up being what? Paper mulch? Paper pulp? Paper pulp. Doesn't sound right. Oh, paper pulp. <laughs> I end up pulling out a mold and just taking advantage of trying to recycle. So I end up putting a little bit of water into the mold and pushing in the paper that it already has glue in it and just add more water and then I end up using it. In the next video, I will make sure that I pop those out and show you guys how they turned out. As, an, as a creative artist, I guess we're always thinking what else can we do? How can we make more out of what we're already doing? And that's my train of thought. And so I th thought to myself, let's just make some molds. Let's not throw that paper out. 
and I'm just squeezing it and I'm just going to set it aside. Grab, I think I'm going to grab another mold. Yep. And do the same. And then I realize I'm not going to get all of this stuff off with just my fingers in. I end up grabbing these little sponges that I've picked up at the dollar store. And there I have like sponge on the inside. And then some... And then it's covered with some kind of um, other material that's really like pokey, but not too rough. And it's perfect. So I didn't want to do sandpaper, and I didn't want to do a green scrubber. Whew. I'm still trying to breathe and relax while doing this voiceover with you guys. I've been up in the orange tree pulling oranges today. I made dinner that took, oh gosh, it took me three hours to complete. And that's that I started last night and I did it for an, an hour the night before. So a total of four hours. And then, you know, mopping and sweeping and all that good stuff. And it is like 8 o'clock at night and I just barely got finished with my chores. Just continue rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. There's many, many videos on YouTube, uh, different instructors and different people that share how they do it. This is just me doing. Sometimes I figure, why not just turn the camera on? I'm going to do a project, so just turn the camera on. And If you have to do a voiceover, do a voiceover, speed through, and just as long as... Uh, I don't even know where I'm heading. I'm at a blank. My coffee has worn out. Anyways, just did a video just to share with you guys what I was up to. And I'm going to work on the second one. It's basically the same thing. You know, I was just thinking, the Deco Arts Image Transfer is a really, really good product. I like it more than the more expensive image transfer stuff. I really do like it. I, it's never gone wrong for me. I've done about a oh, good 12 canvases, I want to say. Not one of them have gone wrong on me. Now, I've used another company, another image transfer that was way more expensive, like triple the price. And that one did me wrong many times. And lo and behold, the cheaper product here, Deco Art uh, Image Transfer, was and is the best image transfer with 100% proof for me that it's always worked every single time. Look how cute. I didn't mention to you guys that this, these two canvases are for my daughter. She uh, painted her room. And we are now decorating it. And I thought I'd surprise her. She was out with a friend. I thought I'd surprise her and bring, let her come home to two canvases that I thought would look cute in her room. And she loves them. By her request, she asked me to put the pearls around the border, which we'll do together in a little bit. Wow, I've been talking for 15 minutes. Oh, almost 15 minutes. I should have brought in a cup of water in here with me. I 
Do you guys remember the Happy Mail that I got from um, Beth? Mm, I'm trying to remember the other name that she uses. Jeepers, I can't remember right now. She sent me some boho beads, which is hilarious because she calls them hobo beads. <laughs> um, she put little bells, these little metal bells on them. I really wanted the bells really bad, so I went on to eBay and I found, I don't know what it was, a thousand bells for a, a dollar ninety-eight. Well, I got the bells in today, guys, and, and they don't ring. It was so disappointing. Oh my god, it made me actually whine like a brat right now, too. They don't ring. What's the point of getting bells that don't ring? Beth's bells ring. As a matter of fact, Beth, if you're watching me, you sent Rita Marie happy mail. And I'm so grateful you did that. I adore Rita Marie. And you sent, um, who else did you send? You sent my other girl, girlfriend, um, Stacy, some happy mail. That's so nice of you. Your happy mail should be out. I'm thinking about the 25th of August. Um, I need to gather my, my dollars, and change, and whatever. See, there's that green Boy, there's a scrubber thing that I got at the dollar store. Anyways, by the 20th you'll have your stuff out. I know you didn't do it for that, blah, blah, blah. But I just wanted to say thank you for sending out to my girls, um, Rita Marie and Stacy, which is Pink Poodle Crafter. Some happy mail. That was so nice of you. Uh, Breed and Marie got these little tiny birds you sent her. I would love, love, love to know where you got the little tiny plastic birds. I think they were plastic. Gorgeous. Beth, they're gorgeous. Yeah, maybe you can tell me where you got your bells from also because I had no luck. Stacy got the same bells and they didn't work for her either. They, they don't ring. They don't jingle. It's a long process, guys. Um, very long process. It, it, it takes about an hour and so to do all of this. And then take in mind that you have to leave it for 24 hours also. I think we're almost at the end, are we? No, we got a long way to go. What I'm going to do while I'm doing a voice over here with you guys is split this a little faster. There we go. Just did it. Hopefully my voiceover works and still matches up with what we're seeing. I'm pretty sure it will. And I'm just more scrubbing, guys. Right now, I'm going to have to slow it down. If you want it to be more shiny, because once the water dries off, it goes to... It, it doles out, but it doesn't look ghostly white. There are image transfers out there that will make your image look like it still has pulp on it and it's still covered. This one doesn't do that. This one is, is perfectly fine. But if you want more shine to it, just spray it down with... Um, oh boy, what is the name of it, guys? Can you shout it out to me? Uh, spray enamel? No. Ultra gloss something. Spray. Ultra gloss spray. I don't know. Okay, let me continue talking and 
try to split this and slow it down for you guys. There we go. And we're just going to play on the borders the few of these alcohol inks that, uh -oh, that I have. Hang on a second. The volume went up on this. There we go. The life of editing <laughs> to share with you guys here on YouTube. Let me stretch.